Hello people of the internet, what's going on? I am the Matty Blue 2. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am bringing you a Fort Champion squad builder. This team is so, so goddamn good. Um, if, if any of you guys try it, you will definitely thank me for it. So the formation we are using today is the tried and trusted 4-3-2-1. My favourite formation this year, I know a lot of people like it yet again. It just seems to be one of those formations that's good every year. In net, we start with a BPL keeper. Not Butland for once, uh, although you guys know how good he is. 273 games he's played for me, that's just mad. But we do go with Thibaut Courtois. That, uh, this card has played about 19 games for me, but I, I've bought him back and sold him a couple of times, so he's probably played about... 150 games for me all in all. Centre back partnership we go with Inform Reed and Chris Smalling. They're so similar and it works so well. Uh, both incredibly tall, uh, have decent pace, good defending and good physical. With anchor cards they're both unbelievable, both medium high as well and I think that high defensive work rate is key on a centre back this year. Chris Small has always been my favourite centre back on FIFA, 17 at least. But I think Reed has uh, taken his place. He's he's absolutely brilliant. Right back then we go with Kyle Walker. This guy will cost you around 20k, but my god is he worth it? He has a high attacking work rate, but honestly in game you don't feel it. He doesn't get forward that much. Defensively he's good. He's strong anyway. So. I have used a shadow card name just to boost that defending and make him even faster. Then at left back we go in Marcus Alonso. This guy could be the perfect left back. High high work rates, my favourite work rates on a full back this year. 6 foot 2 so he's tall and his stats are just generally incredible. He will cost you about 50k but yet again he's worth it. I did start off using the inform Leighton Baines. This guy's about 15, 20k cheaper uh, than Baines, and honestly, he's better. Uh, just go with Marcus Alonso, try him out for a couple of games if you have the coins, and you you won't want to sell him, he is just that good. In midfield, we go with Musa Dembele, N'Golo Kante, and inform Christian Eriksen. This is my favourite midfield in FIFA. It is so solid. You've got Dembele, every single stat above 70. He is just a brick wall. Six foot one as well. He does have a two star weak foot, so that could hinder you. But if you keep him on the left side, if you don't try and do too much with his right foot, honestly, you will love him. His long shots as well are banging. So, yeah. Absolutely insane. Central centre mid, we go with Kante. Um, he, he's just Kante. What more can you say? He's Kante, the, the best cheap player on the game by an absolute mile. And then we go with Inform Eriksen, who I actually got from one of those uh, SBCs, the Untradable Informs. I got him and Higuain, the two walkouts from the only two I did. So I stopped. Uh, high attacking work rate, so he's a more attacking of the midfield. I don't like having such a defensive one, but 5 star weak form, 4 star skill moves. Unbelievable. If you guys can't afford him, because he's about 300k, I'd recommend either Herrera or Fernandinho. Both, like the other two midfielders, very, very well rounded. At right forward, we go with the player of the month, Raheem Sterling. Yet again, he's he's just brilliant, isn't he? He has played about 450 games for me. 95 pace, 80 shooting. That shooting is improved by a finisher, and his long shots feel so much better than they do with uh, the basic chem style or just any other. I don't know what it is about this chem style on Raheem Sterling, but he, even his uh, weak foot long shots, it, it says it's two star, but it, it feels like five star. Just weak, weak foot long shots and strong foot long shots are um, just 
ab abuse them with Sterling, trust me on that. Then a left forward, we don't go with Son actually this time. I don't like Son that much, but I spent about 75k on him, so I, I, I felt obliged to use him. But ever since I packed that Tony Martial, my god is he good. 6 foot, high medium, 4 star, 4 star, and those stats as well, what more can you say, he's just fantastic. And then a striker, anyone who's ever been in a party with me while I'm on FIFA will know how much I love Mishi Batshuayi. And I have decided to invest in his uh, ones to watch card, why? Well there's controversy surrounding uh, Costa, you know apparently it's sorted now but just in case um, Costa does end up leaving and they can't get a replacement in time. I've invested in uh, Wants to Watch Batch right. Very good. Uh, medium low work rates aren't the best, but 4 star weak foot and his low driven shots are absolutely unreal. In terms of player instructions, on the attacking trio I go with stay central and getting behind. Uh, I know some people like to press the back line with all three. But I find it just wastes energy, so I don't do that. But you know, if that's what you guys like, feel free. These are the instructions I use as well. I'm not telling you to go out and use them. You guys could have completely different playstyles to me. Only thing we do with the midfield is tell Kante to stay back while attacking. Uh, we leave Dembele and Eriksen as they are, and then we set the two fullbacks obviously to stay back while attacking as well. Here are my custom tactics. Please feel free to pause and copy them. Yet again, this is how I play. You guys may not like them, they may not work for your playstyle. Um, but I like to play quite a fast game. Not so much tiki taka passing it round. I like to hold the ball, wait for the attackers to make the runs in behind, and then play the through balls, get one on one, and low driven shot. I've been abusing that since the start of the game, and it works so well. One other thing I do is uh, set all player roles uh, to ju just reset them and then it'll put the best player for each uh, set piece on it uh, which typically in this team is Ericsson for most things so jumping into the gameplay you are gonna see uh, ju the attacking trio running riot it, it, you can hold the ball with Martial his finesse shots especially from outside the area are incredible that's what I was talking about, just holding the ball up, waiting for Sterling to make that run, play it through, and then the finesse shot. Some nice work from Marcus Alonso. Bashuai makes a run, he makes such good runs, and then yet again the finesse shot into uh, the exact same spot actually. So, all this gameplay is in the daily knockout tournament. I won it uh, first time using this team. Uh, so. This is definitely going to be the team I'm taking into the um, weekend league. Courtois, absolutely brilliant. I had to cut out some of his highlights just to uh, make the video a bit shorter, but he's brilliant. And having that giant throw helps so much. From that one throw, started the counter attack, and then Batshuayi can just run through and destroy his defence. He's just so good. Dribbling on the card is 79. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what his balance and agility are, but they feel so high. He 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 can just dribble through defenses on his own. He doesn't need anyone else. And then, like I say, low driven shots work all the time with him. And then at four nil, we do get the rage quit in the first game. Hat trick for Bashway and one for Sterling. So guys, I'm gonna let the rest of the gameplay run. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know if you did by leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't already, thanks for watching, and you guys are the best.
Champions Weekend League. Well, this will mean an awful lot to this football club because now they're going to be crossing swords with some of the best teams in the world. That's going to lift their profile and...